Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you're having a great day today. Happy Sabbath to everybody. It's good Shabbos, it's Saturday. Hope you have a God-blessed day, because I tell you, that's all he wants from the best of us, is for us to just love him and praise him. Besides all these weather and all these problems that we're having, guys, pay attention to your God, because he can give everything to you. He also can take everything away. Amen. So we're still having problems in the Gulf with some of these, these tracks. Some showing tropical storms going in there. I'm still showing a possible hurricane towards northern Florida and Georgia. I'm still showing tracks going from the east coast of Florida, going across Florida as a Cat 3 hurricane. We have different models still showing the same kind of information. So that's kind of trendy. I don't know. Let me show you what I have. Now, when I show the max winds, you can see the max winds tracks of all these low pressures and where's the possibilities that these two systems could do. And you can see also that there will be a possible uh, tropical storm to a possible hurricane also with these max winds that are coming out of these these systems and, and these runs coming from the ensemble of possibilities of what we could get now if you look on the right i mean i'm sorry right here next east side of florida you'll see a 972 millibar right there that's in the yellow and you see the yellow up here on the top right but 972 that is that is a hurricane that is a cat one hurricane they have a lot more, more models do show a northeastern flow, but there is a lot of models that show that it does hug right into Florida as a tropical storm. Uh, also, some models do show that it goes over Cuba and turns left, and it's a tropical storm right here on the west uh, side of Florida up towards Tampa. And you see the blue is all the way in the 40s, and then to the green is a 50. So it gets into the high 50s right over to Florida Keys on this model. Then goes down to a tropical storm. This one shows it goes through the Yucatan and grows to a tropical storm. A lot of them, a lot of models. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them show that it goes out to the northeast over the Bahamas as a tropical storm. But a lot of these models don't show that it goes up to a hurricane. Just the, the not, this one right here shows it gets down to 972. Also, uh, the other disturbance it shows that it, it sharply curves and goes out. And it goes up to a tropical storm. This one right here shows that it goes up to a hurricane on the way out. And here's a close-up on, on the 12Z so you can see exactly what happened with that 972. And it, that's the one that shows it's going towards uh, northern Florida, more, mostly towards Georgia in that corner. Now, all these greens are 50s. Bahamas, these are, blues are 40s. And then this one goes into 50 miles per hour. These are the winds. So you know what the possible impacts could be. It looks like definitely a tropical storm is going to be y'all issue. And they still show two of them that could be possible tropical storm on the west coast of Florida as well. Okay, now here's the full track. And you can see it's still kind of weak. And once it gets up towards Cuba, it's where it starts to get its potential. Now right there, it's tropical storm strength. You see the legend on the right. The reds and the yellows will bring it all the way up to tropical storm. Even the light, light green is the beginning of it right there next to the yellow. Now, as I go across, you'll see it go all the way across Cuba and then strengthen right before it hits Florida. And then it goes into Florida as a 968 millibars. Goes all the way down to Cat 1, all the way down to a tropical storm. The whole impact getting on the east side of Florida is what this model is showing. And then the low pressure moves and will get squeezed out, actually, because we have the 94L moving over here. And it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. It starts strengthening again, back to a Cat 3 again. Then it heads south towards the Yucatan. So we're still showing that it still has that same movement that we had before of it going in the Gulf, doing a spin, and coming back and, and double-hitting the Yucatan or possibly Cuba. Now, this, this is a GF, GFS, is the 10-meter winds, and this is also the 18Z. Now, if you watch it as it goes, you'll see that when it gets up to Florida, it goes all the way to a 968. Now, it goes from a 972, and this is on the 25th, the next shot is a 968. 968 is a Cat 3, guys. Let me slow this down so you can watch it. But it's going to be a Cat 3 potential off the coast of Florida. And it looks like it goes all the way down. So it takes a full impact of the Cat 3 all the way down to nothing. Comes back out the other side of the Gulf. Back to a Cat 3 again. 
All right, now, now here's it so we can see a little bit closer of the effects on Bahamas and Florida. And this is a frame 198 hour. Now as it moves up, it looks like it does head towards the, the east coast of Florida, right on the tip, still aiming for Miami. And it's at a 972 right there. So that's well into a Cat 1 hurricane. And this is on the 25th. Now as we move up, you'll see that it still gains power and it goes all along the coast of Florida as well as the Bahamas getting effects as well. And then on the 26th, it looks like it's, that's when it cuts and it goes inland. And this is where it gets down to 964. It's a strong Cat 3 that could be possibly hitting Florida. I keep seeing this model run over and over and over. It's getting pretty consistent with what it's showing. Yeah, all up the east coast of Florida. All right, now on vorticity, we can see where the cell actually is moving and where all the power is on this storm. And it is strong. Now, if you watch, this is on, this is on the 25th, just like the other dates. You'll see that this cell actually does almost a Harvey effect. It goes in and out and keeps strength, and that's why it was able to go across Florida. It goes in and weakens. It does all the damage right there in the center. Then the, then the cell comes back out. It gets a little bit more power, then moves across again over Florida before it goes to the Gulf. Now, as far as the rainfall, you can see it already gets heavy precipitation starting on the 24th for Bahamas as well as Florida. And as you go into the 25th, it starts getting even heavier on the, on the east side of Florida. And we're talking massive flooding, guys. Massive, massive winds. There's going to be some damage done with this. And look at this. This thing is headed right up the east coast. That's not good. Here's the center right there. And it dumps all this water on it. All this rain is going to tear it up if this does happen. And when it goes back out, it gets more energy. And then it goes back across again with some more heavy rainfall before it goes into the gulf. Now, when you check the ensemble for all the low pressures that could be happening, this is the 12Z, you'll see the, the nature of the path most likely, like this one up here in the Atlantic, most likely is going to turn, and this one down here in the Western Caribbean, most likely is going to be from the left of Florida through the right of Bahamas. That looks like the average path. But there's shown a lot of possibilities for this hugging up right, right on the east coast of Florida. Watch these lows, and you'll watch as most of them are mostly between the east coast of Florida and northern Bahamas. Let's have it cluster up. Now this is the 6Z, and you can see also on the 12Z and the 6Z, it's almost the same thing except the 6Z shows even more lows tracks will be forming on the east coast of Florida than it's going to spread away out to Bahamas. Watch them, see them? Even more seem to be popping up on the east coast of Florida. So we need to watch for that. Now all these still in the 6Z on this um, uh, ensemble. It shows that the, this still don't make any landfall on the east coast. It seems to, it does you know, get close on a lot of models. But the one we're going to watch for is going to be the one down here. Now when you watch it with the max winds. You'll see that only one of them actually show it. Uh, going over the Bahamas as a hurricane. Now this is the, the zero, zero Z. I'm going to show you every single one of them so you can see what we're talking about. Mostly it shows a lot of tropical storms creating out of this. This one yellow right here is a hurricane. And another one shows a hurricane later. But the majority of them show a tropical storm coming in all different directions off of Cuba. So the models still don't know what happens after it hits land on Cuba and whether it goes left or right. If you see the blues, that's in the 40s. That's tropical storm. That's minimum tropical storm. The greens are in the 50s. And the yellow is the 60s. Okay, everybody. So that's the information we have so far. So God bless you all. I hope you have a, a great and beautiful Sabbath today. I really mean that from my heart. I'd like to go with you over Proverbs 9. Wisdom hath builded her house. She have hewn out her seven pillars. She have killed her beast. She have mingled her wine. She had also furnished her table. 
She has sent forth her maidens. She cried upon the highest places of the city. Whose is simple? Let him turn in hither. As for him that, that waneth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth, reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will yet be wiser. Teach, teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy in, is understanding. For by, for by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple, and knoweth nothing. For, to sitteth, for the she sitteth at the door of her house, on a seat in the highest places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is, is simple, let him turn in hither, and as far as him that waneth understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that our guests are in the death of hell. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you all have a great Sabbath today. Please do me a favor and share the video. Get the information out there. We still have this possibility of what could happen on the east coast of Florida. And it could still impact the golf as well. Have a great day, guys. All glory does go to God. Amen.